Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at the Deform tool in SolidWorks. I think it's highly underutilized, and you can get a lot of really cool shapes with it too that are driven by our sketch work. So let's jump into it. So our Deform tool is not commonly found in our command manager, so you might have to search it in the upper right-hand corner. You can find Deform. When you click and activate it, there's a couple different types of Deform operations we can run. The first type we're going to try is Curve to Curve. And this one's pretty straightforward. So select the initial curve, which should be this straight edge, this guide curve edge. And select the curve, the target curve, the curves that you want to replace with it, essentially. So I'll go ahead and select that guy there, and we'll click in finger grip. So that's a spline tool that defines the finger grooves that we're trying to incorporate into this model. Now the last thing I did here, in order to to define the deform or to limit the deform to a certain area as I've run a split face and separated these faces into two into two as opposed to one and so here under deform region I'm going to select a fixed face basically what that does is that allows us to specify the region where the deform is going to occur so in other words don't pass into this purple region cool all right so when I got that I'll hit the green check and now my finger grooves propagate awesome so the next thing I'm going to try is another deform tool, but we're going to do a surface push. Now there's a couple of selections here. I'm going to walk through a couple of them and hopefully show you how they work. Under push direction, typically you want something normal to. So our front plane is normal to the deform. So we, we want to put like a thumb rest right here in this region, so normal to that face. The next thing is the deform region. So um, these are the faces that are, that are going to get deformed, so those two faces there. The next thing is, like, what are those faces attached to? That's going to be the whole deformed body, so it's actually just called deform because we just ran a deform. So if I expand my solid bodies folder, I'm going to select deform one in that region. The next thing here is select body, so we're going to use a body to deform the faces. And for this, I have the body hidden right now, but it's just a... Uh, an extrude that's been offset slightly outside the faces that I want to propagate. So in other words, on the outside, that, that face is going to swoop up, curve, touch this point, and then come back into the model. I'll go ahead and specify my parameter, the amount of deform that I want at like 1.25. We'll hit the green check, and our deform is created. Now right off the bat, it's kind of hard to see the deform if you don't have the body hidden. Let me show you. So if this body isn't hidden, what you'll actually see is not a whole lot. Um, so after you run the operation, you're going to want to make sure you hide the body that you selected for the deform. So hide or delete, it's up to you. So that was my boss extrude. If I click hide, then you can really see you know, how the topology kind of flows through the model. Sweet, great. So the last thing I have to do is just mirror this. Grab my mirror tool, mirror face, this guy here, bodies to mirror, go and select the grip. Make sure merge is checked on, and then we'll get our grip. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.